Rapid Media presents Rapid Media TV. Scott McGregor here with Rapid Media TV, and I'm at the Outdoor Retailer Show with Corey Cooper. Corey, you started Boat Boards. Scott, I did. All right, tell me a little bit about, I guess this is your flagship. Yeah, this is our flagship board. This is a board, I guess, that we mainly, uh, you know, draws all of our customers to our company. Uh, basically, the deal with this board is that it, it's a crossover between uh, uh, the SGP world and the fishing world. This board functions basically as a stand-up fishing paddle board, but you can also take all the gear off of it and it's your regular SUP. So the draw to this is that there's really no setback. Right. You can use it as an SUP or a fishing machine. So Great. Well, why don't you walk us, uh, I guess, bat a stern or tilt okay. the tail. Okay. Well, we can start up here. Uh, our board design, uh, it's a 12-foot board and this is a 32-inch wide board. Uh, it's also five inches thick, which adds a lot of buoyancy to the board. And you can see through here how much thicker it is than a regular SUP. And this also gives you buoyancy in the water. Uh, our nose is a taper to a front to decrease noise slap when it's going through the water. Uh, as we go up the board, the uh, first thing you'll notice is our deck pad. We use a product called Sea Deck. Uh, it's an American-based product. It's probably the best on the market as to, with, with regards to board pads and stuff like that. So that's not an accessory. That's on. That's that's, that's all standard. Great. Standard Sea Deck is standard on all of our products, and it's a, it's an increased cost to us, but we don't pass it along to the customer. We feel it makes a better product, so we include it on all of our stuff. Uh, as you walk down, you can see obviously we've got a Yeti cooler integrated into the setup. Uh, it, the Yeti straps down to the board through uh, permanently installed deck cleats. This is also a standard feature of all of our 12-foot boards. Uh, this is a 35-quart Yeti that the board was designed for, and the cooler actually functions as a seat and as a cooler. So when you're paddling, you normally stand in front of the cooler, uh, and you know if you wanted to sit down and tie up any of your gear and stuff, you've got a place to sit down without getting all uncomfortable and falling over and stuff. Uh, as you go back further, uh, this is our main attraction. It's, we call it our fishing post. It's uh, anodized marine grade aluminum. It holds two rods. It'll hold all your gear. It'll hold backpacks and whatever sort of accessories you want to hang on it. You know, now they're requiring PFDs with SUP, so that'd be a good place to hang your PFD in a bag or what have you. Uh, and then, you know, as you follow uh, more towards the rear, you can see it's got a one center 10-inch uh, fin that comes standard on all of our boards. And this is basically just a standard feature on any SUP, especially a surf style. So basically, as you see it, man, it's a, like I said, it's a fishing machine or it's a stand-up paddleboard. You can take it all off and hit the water. Sounds like fun to me. Yeah, dude. It's a blast. Thanks very much. This is Scott McGregor with Rapid Media TV, hoping you paddle forever. Later. That was great. Learn more about Rapid Media's print and digital magazines, International Paddling Film Festival, on-water events, and online store. Visit rapidmedia.com.